Okay, quick little update on my garden. Black eyed students still have not bloomed, but my roses are looking full and pretty. Um, this is what I really wanted to show you. These are my, the pink hydrangeas that I said are kind of boring. See how they're kind of tiny and they're very, 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 very pale. And I still have a lot that are, have not actually bloomed in full. So that's where we are there. More roses. Um, more daylilies. These, this hydrangea is still in the process of getting its act together. Uh, hopefully we'll have, like, in the next week, we'll have some flowers on it. That'd be nice. And, uh, it rained. It's been raining here, so, like, this rose bush is kind of beat down. It's, um, the heavier blooms are kind of, like, on the ground. It's kind of crazy. Um, I'm waiting for these right here. These, this is a, um, Mexican shell flower. And I'm waiting for those to bloom. Those are new. I planted them last year, and they're really kind of cool. Um... And I wanted to show you, because I have one blooming, if I can get back there. I'm going to go trekking through my garden. Ugh. Grass. Ow. Ooh. And there it is. Do you see the purple flower? Kind of sad looking, but that is a mountain blue. That's what it looks like. Wow, oh, it smells really pretty in here. These roses are just really very fragrant. Um... This hydrangea is still looking kind of ill, and there are some buds. We'll wait to see if they actually become anything. And of course, my daylily. All right, that's it for the update. Short one, short but sweet. All right, goodbye.